I see the way you're moving and I know I'm finna lose And still I'll never leave because I only mess with you Hey everybody, TK The Relic here and today I'm going to be doing a Meet The Artist video um, I have compiled a list of about 15 or 14 questions from my Instagram followers. Shout out to all of you. The link to their to their Instagrams will be in the description below. I will also shout them out in this video as we go along. Uh, you can make sure to subscribe, like, and leave a comment below with any other questions you might have. Also, be sure to follow my Instagram at o h dot that's t k you can also find me on twitter at t k the relic so without further ado let's get into this video so the first question comes from uh at daddy lyrical and she asks who or what is my biggest influence right now um i definitely have to say that uh, Nicki Minaj is a huge influence of mine. I've loved her for a long time and it, it just made my love, my connection with her even stronger when I found out that she's a Sagittarius one and two, that her birthday is like four days after mine. Like it's like, we're like right there next to each other. Like I just, she's my biggest influence right now because it's just her colors, her music, her, her style, the way she handles herself, the way she like, you know, handles other people in situations. Now, back to this bitch that had a lot to say about me the other day in the press. Miley, what's good? I just love it. I love everything about Nikki. She is rap god, rap queen, baddest bitch out here walking, and that's that. The next question comes from Marvin Kirkland 12. Um, he asks, do I do features? and he has recommendations for me yes i do do features at the moment it's a little bit difficult because um i'm just not used to writing with other people i'm used to writing songs for myself and about myself and my life so if i were to hop on someone else's song it's a little bit hard for me to uh, write a verse that i feel comfortable with because it's not from my own perspective in a way like it's not the topic I chose, so maybe if someone else, like, if someone chose the topic that I'm not well versed in, like, that I don't have any experience in in life, then it'll be harder for me to write about that. That's, like, what I mean. But I definitely do do features. Um, it just depends on the other artists, really. So the next question comes from at babygirl underscore spam. He asks, have you ever had stage fright? If so, uh, how did you overcome it? So I've definitely had stage fright before. Um, it's honestly, I the way I overcome stage fright, okay, so look, I get stage fright every time I go on stage. Like it's, it never feels. I, I'm not the type of person who likes to be in the center of attention. I don't like being in the spotlight per se, but when I touch the stage, like, okay, when I'm walking up the steps to the stage or when I'm preparing for them to call my name, to go up and perform definitely i'll be shaking i'll be breathing hard i'll probably be talking to my best friend and trying to get her to help me you know get out of this anxiety that i'm in so that i can perform properly and then i get up on the stage and i turn my stage fright into adrenaline into energy but when you have stage fright sometimes you freeze up and sometimes you do too much on stage you're a little bit over energetic but for me personally that works where i can turn my stage fright into adrenaline energy and that energy is enough to get me through the performance usually when i get stage fright after the first few seconds on stage it goes away completely and it's all up to just how how much fun you want to have on stage at that point. Okay, so the next question comes from xi to smooth and they have two questions actually. Uh, the first one is what label would I want to sign to? And the second one is who would I want to collab with the most? So my I put the questions together because they definitely, my answers go hand in hand. So I would want to sign with Dreamville Records under J. Cole because also I would like to collab with J. Cole because yes, Nikki is definitely a huge influence in my style, my life, the way I carry myself and when it comes to being an artist. But when it comes to writing and things of that nature and like how I rap, 
I, I usually run to J. Cole because he is an amazing lyricist. He just, he knows how to word things and tell a story while he's doing it and keep it consistent throughout the entire rap. And I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And that's how I imagine. I want my music to sound like. I want it to feel like you're listening to a story as you're listening to the lyrics. And J. Cole definitely gives that energy when he raps, and I just absolutely love that. So he's definitely who I would want to um, collab with, and I would want to sign under his label Dreams Old Records because I just love J. Cole, okay? And also, I feel like if I were under him, I would learn a lot about, um, you know, rhyme, different rhyme schemes, how I can um, develop my wordplay and things of that nature. Like, I feel like he could really help me lead me in the right direction. Also Eminem is another really good artist I would love to learn how to write from, learn how to rhyme from. Like these are artists that I absolutely would love to meet eventually. Like and it's gonna happen. It's going to happen. <laughs> so the next question comes from Dre2X Swan. Uh he asks, what motivated me to become an artist? So the main thing that motivated me was not being heard because when I was younger I was the quiet one I was the quiet one in the family I was the quiet one at school I was the quiet one in general like that was me everyone knew TK as the quiet girl I didn't talk much I didn't really speak out uh, my opinions too much if someone was like do you want this I'll just be like yes I want that even if I didn't really want it like I was very like you know just there just submissive kind of and I still am pretty quiet but back then I was shy and quiet so when I started feeling like I needed to speak out about things that were really 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 bothering me and I felt like no one was listening like no one understood how what I was going through what I was feeling so I decided to start writing it down in the form of poetry when I was in high school I actually joined a poetry club for a very short amount of time before I joined a music band club and not like the normal, you know, band with the trumpets and stuff. It was a music rock band club in my school. And that's the club that I had joined after my few uh, weeks at the poetry club. I did keep writing poetry, but the rock band club helped me to learn the instruments that I played, like guitar, piano. Um, my mom bought me a guitar and piano when I was very young. So music has just always been a part of me. Um, actually, a story my mom tells me a lot is that uh, when I was a baby baby, like one, two years old, I couldn't go to sleep unless we were dancing around the living room listening to Mary J. Blige. Like, music has always been a part of me. So not feeling like I was hurt is definitely one of the things that motivated me to become an artist. Also, I wanted to be a voice for other people like me who feel like they aren't hurt because I know that there's a lot of women, a lot of girls out here, a lot of young girls who feel like they have to be whatever the other person tells them to be. They have to be what their mom tells them to be. They have to be what their boyfriend tells them to be. And I was that girl. Like I let other people tell me what I should be, how I should look, how I should do things. And it was horrible. It drove me in absolutely insane to the point where I was very depressed and like clinically depressed and left scars on me and I don't want that for anyone else. I don't want any other girls to have to, to fall into that trap of, you know, thinking that they're too shy and quiet so they just stay that way. Like, you're not, you're not shy, you're just quiet and you observe things. You're very smart and, and observational. That's what that is, baby. Like, <laughs> long story short, that is what motivated me to become an artist because I want to keep myself I want to be heard and I want to have others be heard as well. So the next question comes from underscore Vato. And he asks if I'm going to drop a song about how we met. And the simple answer is no. <laughs> because there is there's some details about how we met that don't have to do with me and you. And it has to do with me and my friend and I don't feel comfortable putting her information out there because I can't tell our story how we became friends without telling how y'all two know each other and that's not happening I'm not putting her business out there for the sake of whatever so there's your answer <laughs> the next question comes from that dot underscore underscore she asks do I still listen to rock 
and metal music. Did you forget who I was? Like, <laughs> like, of course I still listen to rock and metal music. Like, that is the music that made me. I would never give it up, ever. Like, and I, to this very day, I still love rock and metal music more than any other genre. I really do. I just feel more comfortable performing R&B, pop, hip hop type songs. But I definitely do listen to rock and metal music still. Like, that's not an, even a question. Like, I definitely do. Sleeping With Sirens is definitely 100 million percent still my favorite band. Panic at the Disco is still up there top tier with me. I love, I still listen to My Chemical Romance. I still listen to uh, Black Veil Brides. Like, I listen to it all still and I, that's never gonna change, trust me. Don't let this, don't let this music journey that I'm on change anyone's idea of me because I have not changed. Like, I'm still the same TK. I'm still the same trend. I'm still the same person. Like. The only difference is that I'm very more outspoken now and I do music. Like, <laughs> this question comes from Dante for real. He asks, what genre of music do I make and what drives me to perform that genre? So, um, as I mentioned in the last question, I, like, I generally do pop, hip hop, R&B type music. Sometimes I'll do trap, sometimes or I'll do like a half song, like a hook, I'll sing it and then I'll rap on the verses. It's easier for me to tell a story this way. Um, because when when I write, I put, I put a lot of energy into the hook because the hook is almost like the climax of the story. Like it's the part of the story, it keeps coming back, it keeps reoccurring and Eventually, it's the swell of the song, it's the climax of the story, and that's the part where everyone focuses on and knows. So I tend to focus on my hooks and then um, go into a verse, actually telling, filling in the details that weren't mentioned in the hook. But <laughs> kind of went off on a little tangent there, but what really drives me to perform R&B type music and hip hop and um, rap type music is just because it's popular. It's popular, it's groovy, everyone likes it. Though, yes, I do listen to rock and metal music still. A lot of the music on my phone is, um, you know, mainstream music. And I, you know, I study that kind of music by listening to it so that I can perform it for other people. I mean, that's pretty much it. Like, <laughs> question comes from the amazing the beautiful, the bombest braider out here in the DMV. Miracles on your crown. Miracles dot on your crown underscore. I'll put leave her Instagram right here. She is an amazing hairstylist. She's the one who braided my hair into this beautifully long, um, not less braids. Blonde at the top and red at the bottom. Definitely go check her out because she's amazing at what she does and you need to let her perform some miracles on your crown because <laughs> ain't nobody else gonna do it. She asks, what is the what was the hardest obstacle I had to overcome in music and in life which made me continue music? So I would say the biggest obstacle I had to face in music was and currently is like trying to figure out who I, how I want to present myself to the public, how I want to be viewed in the public eye. Like, um, you know how Megan the Stallion is viewed, you know, she has her image, Nikki has an image, Doja Cat, Rihanna, they all have their own very distinct images. And I think that's the hardest part for me is trying to figure out what my distinct image is going to be because I really like a lot of things. I like everything, like even things that clash with each other that most people wouldn't put together. I listen to a lot of different music and a lot of different genres. I love a lot of different styles. Like I love the bougie style. I also love the soft girl style. I love the e-girl style and I love the girls girl style. I also love BDSM and lingerie clothing. Like I like a lot of different things. So it's very, 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 very difficult for me to pinpoint exactly one thing that I will be about. Like that will be my image in the public eye. When people think of CK the Relics, they will think of this. And that's the hardest thing for me in music. I guess the hardest obstacle in life that I had to overcome which made me continue music would have to be my relationship with my mom because um, 
we had a really rocky relationship for some time and we were really like it was difficult for us to understand each other life was really hard when my mom and i weren't on the same page and i had to learn that i need my own acceptance i need to love myself people show love in very different ways and just the way my mom showed her love it didn't register with me until later on in life when we talked about it you know we got an understanding of each other and that is when i overcame the obstacle of you know trying to be the best for my mom when i was supposed to be trying to be the best for me and yeah once i figured out that my music became a lot more personal it became emotional i would say like when people listen to my music now they feel um my emotions a lot stronger than before when me and my mom had issues going on so i would say definitely that is one of the biggest obstacles i've had to overcome because it was more of a self problem it was a problem with my self-love and me loving myself and taking care of myself and that's always the hardest obstacle for generally anyone <laughs> learning how to love yourself so the next question comes from so the next <laughs> um, Abdu Sh so the next question comes from Abdu Shakur 99 he asks can you name some of the artists who have inspired you to do music I mentioned some of them earlier in this video like Nicki Eminem J. Cole. New artists I would say that have inspired me. Billie Eilish. I love me some Billie. I love me some Billie. Ash Nico. You know the song where everyone's like, uh, I'm crazy but you like that. I bite back dances on your night stand. Never forget it. Oh, voice crack. <clears throat> I love I love Ash Nico. Did I say Doja Cat already? I've been listening a lot to an artist named Bishop Briggs. I love her voice. Her voice, she's a powerhouse and her voice is strong and I just love it because she's an also like me. Her voice is so immense, like it has such an immense power and bass behind it that she can manipulate her voice to hit amazing notes and I just love like, I sing along to her music all the time to try to increase my range. <laughs> I just love her sound. Some of the people actually who have inspired me to do music weren't actual artists they were high school friends <laughs> shout out to all the bullies because you definitely you were one million percent an inspiration to me to start my music there was this girl named adrian she was definitely an inspiration because she her face haunted me every single day for the last four years of high school my friend autumn has definitely inspired me she keeps me going my god sister taisha she is a she is the stone. She is the stone on at my back, keeping me standing up straight. She's my biggest motivator. When I when I really feel like I need that motivation, motivation, she always knows what to say. My wife, Sacred Lyrical Justice, out here with the fire bars. She is an inspiration to me as well because her voice is amazing. I love her singing voice, and she knows how to word things. Her wordplay is grand. Like it's amazing. Yeah, those are some of the people that have inspired me to do. Music. Question comes from I am Foresight. And he asks, what goes into your creative process? So I kind of touched on this a little bit earlier. I'm supposed to leave these two questions separate because they're pretty different if you ask me. But I am foresight asks, what goes into my creative process? And usually I'll just look up a beat. I'll try to find a beat to write to. And the beats that I usually lean towards are dark type beats with like very deep bass, like almost like a rumbly kind of bass. Nice like high pitched melody or you know something that's I like I like very distinct sounds in beats, like beats that are not very common sounding. Like so I find the beat first. Next I will um listen to the beat until I hear a, the spot where I would put my hook in. And usually this is in either in the very beginning of the song or about 30 seconds to a minute within the beat. Usually the beat will drop if it's uh, further in the beat. The beat will drop or, you know, there will be some kind of distinct sound to let you know that this is where the hook is. This is where the verse ends and this is where the hook begins. I'll usually listen out for that point and I'll try to write a hook. If I can get a melody for a hook in my head that I like, then I'll write that down and then I'll go back and start it over and write, work on my verse. Yeah, then I have a song. Now what goes into the writing process is a little bit more difficult because 
I've been experiencing writer's block a lot in 2020. 2020 has been really, 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 really hard for everyone. And it's not been an inspirational year. <laughs> it just hasn't, it just really, really hasn't, um, at least for me. A lot of the events that have been happening recently in the world have left me really speechless. And I just don't know what to say about how crazy everything is. It's a lot going on and I, feel like I can't keep up with it all because there's so much going on around me like and I don't know how to process all of this negative energy going around in the world this year it's almost like it's blocking like literally writer's block it's blocking my writing but it was really hard for me to like get lyrics out during this year but recently I've been able to write down some lyrics I will say my writing process has changed I used to write off of my emotions, solely off of my emotions. So if I was angry, I would write what I was angry about. If I was sad, I'd write what I was sad about. If I was happy, I'd write what I was happy about. If I was in love, I'd write about that person, so on and so forth. But recently, I have just been writing whatever comes to mind. Even so, even if the song sounds completely random, be a, like the bars don't match up. Like one bar I'll be talking about my boyfriend, the next bar I'm talking about a steak. <laughs> like, I've just kind of, that's like my new creative process because everything's really backed up and I'm trying to get it all out onto the paper. So that's my new creative process really. Um, I still do write based on my emotions, but um, recently I've been trying to break out of that because I feel like it's unhealthy for my mental, my mind to be in a constant state of intense emotion just so that I can write a song. Yeah, so. That's my creative process. So we've heard a lot of questions about inspiration recently um, in this video. And I just want to mention, I've left all these questions separate for a reason because they all have similar but different answers. So the next question comes from The Real Jiu Gypsy. And she asks, what inspires me to create music currently is the fact that I already started and I want this for me. I absolutely want to be an artist. I want to be a musician. Music. Mus <laughs> I want to be a musician. I want to be a performing artist. I want to meet Nicki Minaj. I want to meet J. Cole. I want to meet Eminem. I want to meet these people and be around these people. And I want to do me. I want to have money. I want to drive around in fancy cars and fly across the globe and travel the world. And all the while I'm doing all these great, amazing things, I'm putting out my music and helping other people who were in my situation when I was younger break out of that shell. That's really what inspires me to create music now, today, to keep going, is the future. The future inspires me to keep going. Because my future, I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I see my future and it's bright, baby. It's bright. And I'm not letting that light die. The next question comes from Nation of Smoke. And he asks, what is my favorite car? Honestly, don't know too much about cars. I'm letting y'all know now. <laughs> if I were to say my favorite car is a Dodge, I would not be able to say which Dodge. Okay. <laughs> so... I'll say that definitely. I do like Dodge cars, but Corvettes. <laughs> um, I saw like three different Corvettes one time when I was out to, at, the, at the movie theaters and they were just beautiful. And I just love the car. I like how it looks. It's small. It's cute. To me, it's cute. I like it. I just like Corvettes. I just like how it looks. That's my car. <laughs> the next question comes from Lost underscore Lotus 48. And she asks, what music genre is my favorite? So I'm not sure if she meant, you know, which one do I like listening to, which one do I like writing, so I'm gonna answer both. Um, my favorite genre of music to write, to perform and things like that has to be my dark trap music. <laughs> so like when I rap about very serious topics and I get my dark beat going on and I get my bass banging, that's the music that I like to write the most. It's the deepest parts of me, I feel like, when I write about something deep and dark. <laughs> because if it's deep and dark, I'm gonna put passion into it. Like, I'm trying to tell you something, basically. Like, you're gonna feel that, I'm trying to tell you something. So that's my favorite music genre to write. My favorite music genre to listen to is, would have to be, 
I guess R&B. Like people like Kelani or uh, Rihanna or Beyonce. You know, singers, Summer Walker, people like them. R&B beats are very, very smooth and I love it. I love it. I like piano type beats uh, or piano type beats with trap basses underneath. They sound really nice to me. It's very distinct and very different. You don't hear it um, very often. So I feel like that's the kind of genre of music which I would consider is my favorite. Before we get to the last question, I just want to say thanks to everyone who left a question on my Instagram. Please follow my Instagram, link in the description below in order to leave questions for the next video, for the next Q&A video. We will be dropping that very soon because I know there's a lot of people who missed out on the questions on my Instagram uh, a few days ago and they wanted to ask questions and they didn't get the chance to. So. We're gonna open it back up, open the floor back up to you guys. You can also drop a, your question in the comment section below and I will answer your question. Also check out everyone's everyone's Instagram in the description box below. Go make sure to follow them because these are amazing people and they gave me amazing questions to make this amazing video. Without further ado, the last but not least question of the video of the day is from YoungJB underscore who X, when will the album drop? album actually I actually just recently dropped an EP on my birthday December 4th you can look it up anywhere um, the, I'll leave the link to my EP in the description box as well as for an album I prob I'll probably end up dropping another uh, an actual album not an EP an album um, in 2021 because I feel like I need more time I want to make sure that everything is absolutely pristine perfect cleaned up and nothing is missing no element of music of my song is missing from whatever track we lay down and master and record i want to make sure that it's absolutely perfect probably drop it in mid or maybe late um 2021 so thank you all for watching thank you so so much for joining the channel please leave us please subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed this video please drop your questions in the comment box please follow me and everyone else that i mentioned in this video on instagram and i will see y'all later get the step in i don't play games i don't like face got a clear line of the rattlesnake